Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today I'm going to be looking at some more handmade watercolors from K. Hannah Honey Hughes and I'm super excited because I love supporting small businesses, especially watercolors. And one thing that I've really enjoyed lately is finding small watercolor businesses that are around the world because I realize that not everyone who watches my channel is specifically in Canada where I am or in the US where a lot of my products that I put on Amazon in the description are from. So showcasing small watercolor businesses from around the world like this one which is based out of the UK and our car creations like I did last month, I think it was last month, which is based in India. I just love giving my audience options of where they can shop that may be more in their region rather than Amazon from the US or Canada. So I'm really excited to test these out. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> okay, so I got some more handmade watercolors. This is from Kay Hannah's Honey Hughes. I'll link her website down below. She makes all of her own handmade watercolors. I'm excited to try these. Um, as you can see, I have already opened this because I could not wait. Um, but let's dive in and actually see what I got and then try them. So these are from the UK and unfortunately <laughs> they did, she sent this little like um, uh, tester card. The little pieces I put in here because they all fell off during travel, which happens. Um, but she sent some full pans, but then these little tester ones. So let me just try, see if I can get them out and maybe I'll try and stick these back somehow. Maybe I'll just like wet them and then try and stick them back to the card somehow. But they're really cute. And one thing I love about her style is like these little kind of honeycomb um, palettes. Like they're just so cute. So let's take a look at what else she said. I don't think those are the right colors, but I'm going to figure it out after. <laughs> and then she sent some other half pans that look adorable. So let's open these up and see what we got. So we got this yellow, I can't really read it, Benzadil, I don't know, yellow, medium, <laughs> but the pigment numbers are on them and they're just packaged so cute. This is so sweet. Okay, I'm so excited to try these. Then we have Hansa Yellow Deep. Well, this one's like wrapped, wrapped. Let's see if I can get it out. I'm always blown away with just the amount of work that goes into these handmade watercolors. Like to make these is just such a huge amount of work and I just I'm always so amazed okay then we have pyrrole scarlet Ooh, a nice like bright red oops then we have quinacridone magenta must have in a palette oops <laughs> then we have thalo turquoise then we have leaf green you guys know I love my greens Azo Russell, Russell, so like a brown, and then we have a mauve, or mauve as some people say, I say mauve, and then I, I heard that the correct way to say it is mauve, but it just feels wrong to me, so I like to say mauve. Okay, so as I swatch these, I'll tell you a little bit about the company. Okay, so the owner's name is Kate and she's based out of Nottingham, UK and her inspiration to make paint didn't start necessarily from an artist background, but she started out as a chemist. So after nine years of university level chemistry and having made compounds of all the colors of the rainbow, she realized what excited her most about her work was making new colors. So she moved from making components for electronic devices to making watercolor paint. How cool is that? It's a long-term goal of hers to make paints from every pigment out there, which I think is awesome. Her paints are also handmade in her studio using pigments, gum arabic, and local honey, which is great. She sources everything local as much as she can. And the cool thing by adding honey, it allows the paints to reactivate more easily, which I didn't actually know. And it also acts as a preservative. So I have tried um, paints that have honey in it before, um, I believe M. Graham uses honey for their watercolor paints and it just, it has this really beautiful buttery texture, which I really enjoy with these watercolor paints. 
And another cool thing is even her pans are made with a 3D printer from a friend, which is amazing too. I love the handmade quality of all of this and just her story. It's really cool. So I'm going to put her website down below. You can learn more about her, more about her paints. And as I'm swatching these, I can already tell like they are beautiful. I did request um, non-granulated paints because that's just kind of more my style and they're just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now that I'm done looking at the swatches, I'm just gonna look at the paint. And honestly, they're gorgeous. Like they kind of remind me of my professional Winsor & Newton ones. Like they're just very vibrant, very easily activated, so colorful, um, no inconsistency issues. They're just really beautiful. They lighten well, they, you know, darken well. <laughs> they're just, they're beautiful. And then the little set here of the pastel springtime colors are so cute too. It makes me wanna, you know, paint some, I don't know, like candy or something, I don't know. But they're just, they're really beautiful. And I don't think I have a bad thing to say about them. And one thing I'm always blown away with, with these handmade watercolors from, so far from the artists that I've gotten them from, the pans are always so full. So they are so totally w worth it. They have all their info, all the pigment info on her website and on the little tags that they come with. So I definitely suggest you take them out. But now I just wanna put them into practice and I wanna actually paint something. So I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna paint some flowers and I'm inspired to paint some flowers from my friend Jillian from Crafty Fox. I'm gonna link Jillian's video down below cause you might see some similarities to her flowers and mine. Um, she's been really inspiring me lately to paint some flowers like her. So that's what I'm going to do while we test these out. So let's get to it. Okay, so I just started to play around with these ones, which are nothing, but like, look at the vibrancy of these. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. 
I'm blown away at this like red and this magenta. Like it's so cool. I don't know. It's just, these are beautiful watercolors. So there you go. That's kind of my take on these. Um, like I said, I love promoting smaller businesses, especially like handmade stuff and from all around the world, because not all of you guys watching are in the same region as me. Not everyone has access to things that are, you know, in America or Canada. So finding people who create these beautiful handmade items like Kate from Honey Hughes, who's in the UK, and then like our car creation, who's in India. I just like trying out different things from around the world so more people have access to these beautiful products. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I absolutely love them and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to check the description below so you can see the website of where you can get your own handmade watercolors from this brand. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.